All right, guys, here's what we got going on. I'm going to weld this hook on here. I just, uh, you know, I kind of, uh, I don't have any place to secure chains real well um, to, uh, to use any chains, and there's been a few times where I really wish I had them. So I'm just going to secure this on there. Um, I'm going to use some 7018. Uh, I'm not going to lie, I did a little practice to get the right uh, uh, rod tip for it um, to make sure I had a good weld and set up my welder. Um, I already did a video and you know that shit just kept sticking so uh, <laughs> you know what I mean I look like a moron. Chucky 2007 don't look at this okay so anyway here we go uh, yeah, let's get this little Onan twin cylinder uh, motor on here it works pretty good this up and show you what I got 
it definitely penetrated. For sure. I may go back over it. Probably will go back over it. Alright. And this is a quarter 20 bolt. I have it here. Uh, oh, that's, that's not bad. I'm going to go back over it just to beef it up a little bit. And I'm probably going to turn the welder down a little bit because it it definitely penetrated. Um, I'll show you what we got. So, here you go. And it penetrated right into that hook. Maybe a little too much. So, with my second, I'm going to lay a bead right into here. And I'm going to turn my welder down a little bit. She got kind of hot. But, uh, so this little quarter 20 in here. I just put that in there to hold it in place. I drilled, obviously, a hole through here, and I'm going to put a pin in there. I'm going to put a pin in there to uh, to lock it into place. Um, not a bad little weld. I've done better, but it'll work. So I'm going to beef it back up, and that'll be that. Um, that pin, <coughs> where is it? Uh, here it is. So this pin here will fit right through there. And uh, I'm going to keep the cotter pin on top so I can keep an eye on it. And that's just for safekeeping. You know what I mean? It's going to come through there. And that's just for safekeeping. But I'm also going to weld another one on the other side. Um, I'm probably going to do that tonight. It's already probably, you know, 8 o'clock in the morning. And um, I want to get... Oh, yeah, look. <laughs> so I bought this yesterday. I'll do a video on that later. But we're almost out of wood. And I found some dead trees back in there. I'm sure you guys probably already saw that video. I don't know what order I'll upload these into. But uh, these were on sale, like 20% off. And so I got one. It's 22 ton. But I put the baddest, gnarliest piece of wood in there last night. After I did the startup procedure and put in oil and let it idle and, you know, broke the motor in. I put the biggest, gnarliest piece I could find. And, I mean, it, it ate right through that. So... What I'm going to do is go back in the woods and chip it and uh, split it all back there and just leave that mess back in there. So, um, there you go. I'm just kind of doing this short little video uh, of that. So, I've still got I've still got about a week here. And uh, I'm hiding behind the skid steer because I don't want these neighbor people. Seeing me talk to myself. <laughs> the one I got, cattle guy just drove by. He's feeding round bales. Yeah, they're already feeding round bales down here. And it's, well, January 1st. Whatever. Um, you know, maybe those guys didn't stockpile a lot of forage um, as far as, you know, whatever. But, th but that's, that's what we got so far. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try this one out and make sure. But, I mean, it, it penetrated. I'm going to... Uh, do another run on that and just lay another one over it and uh, You know get back behind this hook a little bit because I know that's the pressure point on it Get back in there a little bit more and uh, hopefully that'll be good. I've got another hook the same size on the other side um, uh, That came in <laughs> I got two five gallon buckets full of chains like good chains man. I mean they were rusty but uh, two five-gallon buckets, and they had all these hooks and clevises and, you know, shit that just costs money. And I asked them how much they wanted, and she goes, well, I'd have to have $5 a bucket. And I'm like, here's 10 bucks, and I got, like, hundreds of dollars worth of shit, you know. Chains, uh, you know, a lot, a lot of good stuff. Uh, a couple, cu couple old-school pulleys, man. Uh, probably won't use those. They're, uh, they're kind of cool. Maybe hang those on the wall. But anyway... That's that's what I have for this one. Comment, rate, and subscribe if you want to.